Ben, are you hyped, Jake? Am I hyped? Yes, I'm hyped. Dude, we've been wanting to see these guys since what? Back in the beginning of high school? I mean, this is gonna be sick, man. Same, same. Man, I can't believe we actually got a hold of these tickets because they never come around Ohio. And last time they were gonna, but you know, stupid COVID canceled that. <laughs> oh, this one takes me back to high school. Woo! Thank you, baby. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just uh I just got lost in the days. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Man. Aren't you excited to get out of this place, Jake? I mean, it's like a month away until we graduate. Well, yeah, I'm uh I'm excited to leave, but I'm also just kinda kinda nervous to enter the real world now. I don't really know what I want to do with my life yet, and I don't really got much going for me. You know, at least you know what you're doing. You know, what, you got a full ride offer to play baseball at the University of Miami, and you know what you're majoring in, and I, I just don't have any. Don't, don't worry about all that right now, all right? You're good, bro. You may not know where you're gonna go right now, but you'll figure it out. And look, we're all nervous to leave. We're all nervous to, you know, start this new chapter in our lives. I mean, look at me. I'm going all the way across the country for college. I'm pretty scared about that, but I know it's for the best, and I guess that's what keeps me excited. I'll just give it some time, bro, and it'll all work out. Man. Honestly, that would have to be my favorite song on that record. Yeah, I think you'd have to agree on that. So, uh, how much longer till you leave for college? Two weeks. August 17th and I'm off to Miami. <laughs> you know, it's, it's stupid, but I'm actually, I'm actually kind of nervous. Uh, yeah, I kind of am too. It's got you worked up, bro. It's just, uh, uh, it'll be kind of hard to, you know, make new friends after you leave. Come on, man. Don't be ridiculous, all right? You're going to be able to make more friends. All right. and look, Jake, you've come a long way. I mean, when we first met, <laughs> you were deep in the depression. And your social anxiety basically crippled you from having any social interaction. And I'm, honestly, honestly, I'm really surprised you became friends with a guy <laughs> like me. And I'm, I'm glad you did, but... You're going to be able to make more friends. Easily. Also, I'm not going to be gone forever. Alright? You know that. <laughs> to tell you the truth, Sean, uh, it's hard to imagine someone like you, uh, an athlete, a top-tier academic, wanted to be friends with me. I mean, when we first became friends freshman year, I was just a doormat for people like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
Mario Friends to help you load her. <laughs> What's the hold up, man? Oh, meet up with you later. Alright, bro. Hey, bro, you uh, need some help? Let me help you. What's that? You don't want your folder skin all dusty, you know? Thanks. No problem, man. Hey, uh, what lift do you have on? Uh, 5A. Me too, man. Sit by anybody? Uh, no, I don't, I don't sit by anybody. Well, do you mind if I sit with you today? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. All right, see you then. Well, one more thing. Uh, my name is Sean. What about you? Uh, my name is Jake. 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 All right. See you then. Jake. Wow. A lot really has changed since freshman year. Yeah, I remember back then, uh, I used to just close my curtains, sit in my room, and, you know, I'd try to keep myself entertained, but, uh, uh, nothing really helped, you know. I really didn't have anyone to talk to back then, and no one who loved me, really. Uh, my home life wasn't very great, you know. I just kind of, just kind of sunk in my own depression. <laughs> Not to be Debbie Down or anything, I just, um, you know, I just thought I was going to, live the rest of my life with no friends no ambitions no dreams nothing life was uh really dull look the reason i'm saying all this is because i don't think you realize how much that day meant to me <laughs> and if it weren't for you i might not be here today i know man That's well, to be honest, I, I guess I saw someone like myself that day. I know, I know, I'm the popular athlete that's marked and has everything going perfect for me. And, you know, everyone loves me and I have nothing to complain about. You know, even though I, even though I do have a lot going for me, I've never really felt happy. Like, even with all those trophies on my shelf, I've never felt happy but I've always been stuck trying to prove myself to my friends and parents and I guess I lost who I really was and I wasn't really glad with the person I saw in the mirror but when I met you that day something sparked in me up now I saw an opportunity to be the person that I wanted to be and I wanted to help you out. I wanted to be your friend, and I'm really glad I did. You know, truth be told, I've only ever felt like my true self when hanging out with you. Like, I don't have to add a filter over myself. I can actually be me. And I guess that's why that day meant a lot to me, too.
John. They just make nice music. It, they're called DuckTales. It's, uh, I, I really enjoy them. DuckTales? Isn't that the name of a kid show? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do you want to listen to a song of theirs? I mean, it's pretty epic. Yeah, I mean, I listen to all kinds of music, so. Most of my friends just listen to crap rap, and let's just say it's not my cup of tea, so. fracture in the left tibia and a punctured lug. The other young man is in critical condition. Uh, uh, hello? Excuse me. Can, can you hear me? Excuse me, sir. Sir. The patient's heart rate's been declining rapidly. Dr. Reinhardt, we have an emergency in room 214. It's the young gentleman from the fracture. Hey, sir. Was, was I just in a car crash? Well, yeah, you've been in a coma for three months. I mean, you're lucky you survived. Uh, Sean. Uh, he's, um, he's dead, isn't he? Your friend in the accident, Sean Goodman. 
Unfortunately, he did not make it due to serious injuries from the crash. I'm terribly sorry for your loss, Mr. Leeds. One year ago, I woke up from a coma after getting in a car crash. That day, I found out I was alive. I found out I'd been in a coma for three months. I found out I'd lost my best friend. Ever since Sean has passed, I've, I've fallen back into the person I used to be. I'm alone. I'm depressed. I visit Sean's grave every Saturday and I tell him how my week is gone. <laughs> I keep having dreams where I'm sitting in the car with Sean on the way to the concert. Everything's normal again. <laughs> Hoping that one night we'll finally see the concert together. <sighs> but um, it's very hard living without him. He was the only one who gave me the chance. And now, Every day just gets longer and longer, and I get more depressed. I have a 45 in my drawer, loaded. Now every morning, I think of a reason to live for that day. Yesterday morning, it was because I went to the cemetery. But one of these mornings, I'll run out of reasons. I still haven't found one for today. Turn the safety off. I see you falling back in your old ways. Don't do it, Jake. Please. There's like there's so much good out in the world that you haven't even seen yet. Like it's gonna get better, man. I promise. Just take it from me, man. Holding on to misery, it's never gonna get you far. I mean, it never really got me far. You know, to, to tell you the truth, I wish I had lived my life to the fullest before I died. Every moment I spent without social interaction was just another moment I spent, you know, hating myself. And I, I regret that. I'm telling you that you don't need other people's approval or validation or any of that crap just to be happy in life. Cause, you know, truth is, high school's over, bruh. 
and I'll be happy with you, Arn. Forget about all those people that messed with you back in high school. Because, if I'm being honest, you're the bestest friend I could have ever asked for. And I know there's someone out there that could use a friend like you. So please, Jay, put the dumb gun away and live your life for two. For me. For you, Sean.